What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to Naja Bros. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Naja Bros, Naja Bros. Shout out to you guys, man. Thank you so much for the question. Um, it was really a comment, right? Really a comment, but I, I, I replied back and I said, man, I'll, I'll definitely make a video because I truly believe this could bring value to a lot of you guys. Either you guys are freelancers, agency owners, where you're servicing businesses when it comes to Facebook advertising or, or social media marketing, or whether you're a small business owner and, and trying to crack the code yourself, right? Um, when it comes to online marketing, Facebook advertising, and, and really getting your brand across over here on social media. Some people have great experiences. Some people, um, and what I mean by a great experience is they run ads and they freaking achieve the goal. They make money, they capture leads. They, they build their brand, all the above, right? You have those ones that actually succeed. And then you have other, you know, people that, that don't succeed. And what I want to do is I want to kind of touch on and really add my, add my, my, my opinion on when it comes, on when it comes, on when it comes down to simply why, like, why, why do some people succeed? Why do some, you know, not, and this is just based on my, my, my personal experience, right? Servicing clients um, since 2016, really 2017, I keep saying 2016, but it was really really 2017 when I jumped into social media marketing and Facebook advertising for real estate agents, right? Starting an agency, learning how to, how to, how to really get clients online, learning how, how to direct message, you know, people online and, and schedule zoom appointments and zoom calls. And I, and, and I succeeded at that hundreds and hundreds of times over since 2017 to this day, I still service clients. Um, but now, now I'm going into a whole nother niche same thing, Facebook advertising, same value that I'll be bringing over here on YouTube, but I'll be running my personal Facebook ads to a completely different product, which I'll, I'll kind of touch on today, but it's really not the point of this video. I really wanted to touch on Naja Bros and really, really um, reply to this, to this to this comment, right? Facebook ads suck these days. They disable ad accounts at will without policy violation. So I want to kind of touch on why, right? And again, based on my experience of servicing thousands of clients that are all that are all simply in this field, right? Of advertising. And again, it's 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 when I'm consulting people who are either thinking about advertising or trying to do it themselves, or it's me advertising and running Facebook ads for them, right? Um, I'm going to kind of touch on what I've seen in the past. And, and again, based on just, just looking at literally thousands of accounts, thousands of business pages on the Facebook ad side. Okay. This is why, again, shout out to Naja bros, but this is why they're having this experience. This is just what I can think of, right? Um, why does this happen? Why do, why do accounts get, 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 get disabled? And why do, why does Facebook really pick on, we feel like they're picking on us, right? Why do they pick on certain people and, and sh shut their accounts down? And this doesn't just happen to nausea bros. This happens to a lot of people. You know, I have mentors, I have coaches, I'm in Facebook groups, just like you guys, when it comes to, you know, learning Facebook ads, I'm in the trenches myself. Um, and, and, and what I, what I've seen was really a handful of reasons why, like, why would an ad account be get shut down? Why would your Facebook ads suck? And, and I'm going to approach this in, 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 in every way, right? Every way that I possibly see, seen what I've seen and what I continue to see. Why, why does that happen? Um, let me touch on why it gets disabled. Like why, why the, the, an account can get disabled. And then also I'll touch on why ads suck. I think those are two different things, right? They're obviously, you know, referring to two different things. Facebook ads suck. And then, and then they disable ad accounts at will without policy. Those are two different, two different things I can tackle. And so what I'll do is I'll try to tackle them. When it comes down to, let's focus on the Facebook ad suck. Let Facebook ads suck. Let, let, let's touch, let me, let me touch on that real quick. Why, right? Why would someone's Facebook ads suck? Here's why. And, and again, it's based on my experience, but it's based on my knowledge, like what I clearly know and what I clearly see and, 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 and really the obvious, really, right? Like, I mean, the obvious when, when it comes to those of us that know what the hell we're doing, right? Those of us that actually know how to run these Facebook ads, it's, it's obvious. Once you, once you know why the Facebook ads suck, you tweak it and you make it better. And I'll show you why, and I'll show you how, and I'll show you what, what that all means. But the reasons why Facebook ads will suck for anybody, you guys, is, is because that person lacks the consistency of actually running ads, meaning they ran a few ads, nothing happened. So they never ran them again. That's what I've heard thousands of times, man. I've closed hundreds of clients 
since since 2016 alone, I could show you my Stripe. In fact, I have freaking a video of, of my Stripe account. I think it was like two years ago when I was, or it might've been a year ago, 2020. It might've been in 2020 or at the end of 2019, one of those years where I'm doing a video and I'm showing how many clients. And back then it was like over, back then it was over 400. So today, like clearly over 500, you know, so I've seen a lot, right? I've, I've, I've seen a lot of, a, a, a lot of ads. I've spoken to a lot of people who have, who have ran ads and, and the number one thing that I always see and always hear is the lack of consistency. I don't see many ads. I see a person who ran a few ads and now they're basing a, a full opinion and, and, and conclusion on just their few ads, right? It's like, it doesn't work that way. Like, I think that was the, the, the lie that we all were told that you can just run a Facebook ad and freaking you're going to crush it right away. It's like, holy shit, that could not be further than the truth um, than anything else. Like that is so untrue it's not even funny like you can't just run a couple ads and all of a sudden your shit pops the only the only way that can happen which is again based on my experience but based on my knowledge right the only way what well i don't i'm not i'm not i don't know everything about the damn platform right let me just keep it real i don't know everything about the damn platform um but i know a lot because I, again i've been doing it for for a few years now and so when it comes down to it the only way you can come out the gates crushing it right away is if you're retargeting, you're running conversion ads, first of all, right? You're coming in, you're clicking the green button, you're, you're choosing conversions as the objective, and you're retargeting a lookalike audience, okay? Many different ways to get a lookalike audience, many, many dif different ways. You can reach out to a, a, a lead broker. You can reach out if you're an affiliate marketer, and, and let's say you're running you're running Facebook ads for um, affiliate offers, right? You're getting these offers from ClickBank. You're getting these offers from JVZoo, right? You're an affiliate marketer. You're running ads to products, right? Um, physical products, digital products. You can reach out to that um, um, vendor. You can reach out to that, that owner of the product, right? And ask them for a customer list. Ask them for a, for a hashed customer list. Because what you plan on doing with that, you tell this to the vendor, what you plan on doing with that is turning turning it into a lookalike audience to target them on Facebook. That's how you can come out the gates like freaking running. Zero to hero in no time. When you place a conversions ad, let's say for the first time, and you're retargeting a lookalike audience. A lookalike audience is a mirror, is a clone of a custom audience. A custom audience could be those who have bought from you or those who have opted in or those who have registered for a webinar or those who have bought your red handbag and now they land on the thank you for purchasing page and that is a custom audience. You have hundreds of customers that have all landed on this confirmation page. That's a custom audience. I could take it again. I could take that custom audience and turn it into a lookalike audience and target them. But most of us, this comes back to consistency. Most of us lack the consistency in even getting that far. Like we don't even run enough ads to create our own custom audience, let alone have a lookalike audience or any or, or anything like that. Now, what I am what I'm also saying is that you can automatically contact a lead broker, you can automatically contact the vendor of a product and ask them for a customer list and tell them exactly that it's for a lookalike audience for Facebook, and they'll be more than freaking glad to 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 give it to you because that makes them more sales, right? Um, so that's how you come out the gate. You're tar you're retargeting a lookalike audience right away. 99.9% .9 of you guys that are watching this video aren't doing that at all, at all, at all. And, 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 and so if you're not doing that, then, then you just go the longer route. You go the longer route where now it, it takes consistency in running Facebook ads. Now, what's the bottom line? Why are we even, why, why, why is staying consistent so important? So important. Whether you're seeing the objective plan out or pan out or not, whether you're getting leads or you're making sales or not, why is it still so freaking important to stay consistent running Facebook ads? One huge reason, one huge, huge reason. There's, there's a couple, there's a few reasons. There's a few reasons, your brand, right? Your recognition, your brand recognition, obviously the ability to make sales and leads from, from that Facebook ad. Those are reasons to, to stay consistent, but I truly believe it's something else. I truly believe that the main reason why you need to stay, why we all need to be staying consistent with ads, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, or whatever, every platform, whatever. In this case, I'm talking Facebook. The reason for it is because of the data. 
what you're doing as you're running Facebook ads is you're collecting data. That's one thing that most don't value. Most don't value the calc. Most don't calculate the value of the data. Most of us are looking for that lead right away. We want that sell now. Most of us are running Facebook ads for instant gratification because we obviously need to make that happen. We need to make that sell. We need to capture that lead. We need to recoup that money as fast as possible for the advertising. I get it. I get it. That's the main reason, right? I get it. We got to make this damn thing profitable fast to pay for itself. I get it. But a lot of times it's not like that. Like you got to, you, you got to run consistent ads because at the end of the day, what you're really paying for is the data. You're paying for the goal, the ultimate goal as well, the lead, the sell. Yes, of course, that's the end goal for sure. But what you have to calculate is the data. The fact that your pixel is picking up data. The fact that your custom audiences are picking up data. Facebook is tracking who's watching your video, who's watching it for three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Facebook is tracking those who are landing on your web page because your pixel is there and because you have that domain, that link set up as a custom audience. So, so as you're building, as you're running these ads and as you're building your brand through, through the advertisement, it's the data that is the most important because that data is what you're going to use to retarget in the future. So if you're not, so if one is not staying consistent with Facebook ads, they don't give themselves the ability to capture the data, which gives them the opportunity to retarget the data for sales or leads. Or in the end goal, the, the ultimate goal is to then take that data, quote unquote, custom audience, and then turn it into a lookalike. I need to run enough ads to get at least a hundred people to land on a confirmation page. So again, whatever your goal is, what's your goal? Is your goal to run an ad to sell a product? Okay, cool. Is your goal to run an ad to schedule an appointment? Okay, cool. Is your goal to run a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad to capture a lead? Okay, cool. So whenever that happens and that lead lands on a thank you for scheduling page or a thank you for purchasing page, or they land on a thank you for opting in page or a thank you for registering for, a, for our upcoming class page, Whatever page they land on, that's a confirmation page. That's a thank you page. That is a custom audience page. So if you're going the long route, which most of us are, we're going the long route where we don't have a, a lookalike audience right away. Um, we're going the long route and having to create our own custom audiences to then turn it into a lookalike audience because at the end of it all, it's the lookalike audience that you want to be targeting and scaling your ads with. It's the lookalike audience. But again, most don't stay consistent and they never get there. They never get to the point where they're taking their custom audience and turning it into a lookalike audience because they've never built the custom audience at all. They lack the consistency in building the custom audience. And how long does it take to build a custom audience? That, it comes down to one's budget. But let's just say you're running 10 bucks a day. 10 bucks a day to whatever offer. It don't matter. It's all the same shit. $10 a day. You need to be running ads for at least, now, 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 now don't, let me say this first and then let me, let me explain myself. You need to be running ads for at least a few months, at least two, three, four months. Okay. Now let me back up and say, that's not saying that it's going to take you that long to capture leads or make a sell. No, not at all. But that, but, but, but you got to give yourself a good 90 day run to gather all the data. Now you can gather, ga gather data quick. You can gather data in a few days. Again, it just comes down to your budget. you if you're spending a hundred bucks a day, well then shit run a hundred bucks a day for seven days, spend 700 and get a shitload of data. You can do that too, but most don't aren't spending a hundred bucks a day. Most bitch and complain about spending five bucks a day on Facebook ads. It blows my mind. You guys are making several thousand per deal, but won't even spend five bucks a day every day. It blows my mind, right? So the fact that one is not staying consistent with ads, the fact that everyone wants instant gratification. If you're not getting that lead, if you're not making that sell right away, you're turning the shit off and you're, and, and you're, and you're claiming Facebook ads suck right now. I'm not picking on nausea bros. I'm just speaking in general, right? 
because because one again just never stayed consistent man and and that's why you're 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 you know people over here will say you know what facebook ads suck these days because because you because we suck right you suck bro like i suck like we all suck like if we're not staying consistent and putting 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 our our, our main emphasis emphasis and focus and energy on marketing it's like shit dude none, none of this stuff matters we can have the best product line we can have the best digital course we can have the best freaking anything dude but if you're not advertising to get people to see it none of that shit matters your organic posting is not going to happen and especially with, with you know ha having a name that most you know can't even pronounce no disrespect you know shout out to Naja bros thank you for following much respect and much love to you guys but i'm just speaking in general most will have like no picture right? All I see is the N, right? And then they'll have a name that I don't even know what the hell it means, right? You want to, you want to change. That's why on mine, it's David Cantero. It's my name, right? Because that's branding and that's personal branding. And that's, that's, that's giving people the ability to, to freaking connect and relate to me because they see an actual real name. And then they see my picture right there. It's a real freaking person. That's why you guys are on my channel. That's why a lot of you guys are, are here. That's why some of you guys are taking this shit seriously because you know I know what I'm talking about because I'm a real freaking person, right? But it starts with the little basic shit. It starts with the profile picture. It starts with, you know, the name. It starts with basic credibility like that, you know? And so, and so here's what I'm saying is the fact that like, I don't want, that's a whole nother video. We'll, we'll go there a whole nother time on basic branding, but, but we all suck, right? We all suck. And it's like, for those that don't want to suck anymore, it's like, this is how you do it. You got to stay consistent. You got to build your audiences. That's what it's all about on Facebook, man. So on the Facebook ad side, it's all about your custom audiences. People have to, you have to be tracking the different activities that are happening on your website, right? So Everyone should have a website. You should have a landing page. You should have a website, whatever. If you're running ads, you obviously have some type of freaking website. These different pages within your website, the important pages need to be custom audiences because that's what it's all about, man. You're running Facebook ads. The pixel and the tracking is, is the pixel and the custom audiences are given, giving you the ability to track certain activities on your website to be able to retarget these people in the future. You gotta know who lands on the landing page, but never landed on the thank you page. You need to know who clicked on the red bag, but never checked out, right? They never put in their payment inf information. You need to be able to track these different pages within your website. Those are your custom audiences. That's what you're paying for, okay? So when you're running Facebook ads, five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, it's the data that's being collected. That's what it's all about. So when you go run ads in the future, you can retarget those people or you can exclude those audiences. Let's say I, I, I take people to a, to a landing page, they opt in, they put their name and email, they land on the thank you for opting in page, the thank you page, right? That page right there, that's a custom audience. My Facebook pixel is on that page. The link is set up in Facebook as a custom audience and I'm tracking that data. I also, when I'm retargeting my audiences, I also need to be, be, be excluding certain audiences. A lead audience would be one to exclude. A customer, those who bought the red, red handbag, those are people who landed on the confirmation page. You need to be excluding those people from seeing future red bag handbag freaking ads, right? If you're not excluding and including your audiences, that's a huge reason why your Facebook ads will suck. Okay. That's the bottom line. So that's what I wanted to touch on about that is the fact that it's all about the data. And then once you, once you stay consistent and run your Facebook ads, you're capturing the custom audiences, which is the data. You're then going to eventually turn those custom audiences, only the, only the important ones, the leads, the, the, the cells, which are your customers. These specific audiences are people who met your goal right? You ran a Facebook ad and the ultimate goal was to capture a lead. You ran a Facebook ad and the ultimate goal was to make a sell, right? You're now ca capturing these audiences of your customers or of your leads. You have to be excluding those audiences from seeing future ads. So if you're not excluding those audiences, if you're not including the other ones, therefore you're not retargeting, um, therefore your ads are going to suck. And so, but, 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 but what I'm also saying is that once you do reach it used to be a hundred. I, I still think it's a hundred, but it might be a little bit more. Let's just call it a few hundred. Once let's call it 300. Seriously. Let's, let's literally call it 300. 
once you have at least 300 and you're not going to be able to really track, actually you can track it for sure. You could track it. You could track it in your CRM. You could track it in your Shopify, how many customers you have. You could for sure track it on that end. You're not going to be, you're not going to have a full accurate tracking of that metric in Facebook in the ads manager. You should under the lead, right? When you're running ads, you see cost per lead. You see the amount of leads that came in, but that's not fully accurate. You want to track it in your actual platform. So me, I use Kartra for everything. My landing pages, all that stuff. I use Kartra. So if you're new to online marketing, there's a 14 day trial in the description, profit with Kartra.online. But, um, if you're using anything else, like it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all the same, right? It's all, it's all the same. You got to be, um, you got to be tracking these audiences, man. And if you're not retargeting and excluding these certain audiences, your Facebook ads are going to suck. Okay. That's one huge reason. And then the other couple of reasons, man, it could be your text. It could be the image. It could be the video. It could be the fact that you're, that's why what I teach and what I preach is you have to be you. Like if you're building a business, man, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're building like, let's say, for example, there's some businesses where, where you don't got to put your face on anything, right? Shopify, for example, or an Amazon FBA business, or an eBay, or maybe even an Etsy, right? These types of businesses, product businesses, e-commerce businesses, you don't got to put your face on. But if, but if it's anything else, if you're trying to get clients, or if you're trying to build a real estate business, you're, you're, you're a real estate agent, you're an insurance agent, you're a solar consultant, um, these types of businesses where, where it's, 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 it's small business, you're the face of it, you own a yoga studio, you own a gym, you're the local dentist, you're the local chiropractor, you have a restaurant in town, it's you. You should be putting you out there. You should be running ads on you, right? A video of you. That's what, 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 what social media and, and advertising is really all about. It's all about the personal connection. The fact that we gravitate to people, not freaking brands or logos. Now you could still su be super successful hiding your face, right? Not showing your picture over here, right? Not putting your even real name. You could be successful not showing the real you, but it just, it's going to take longer and, 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 and you're going to have to run more ads. That's why your Facebook ads suck because you only ran a few and your face isn't on shit. You're trying to run generic ads to, to, to an audience that is cold because you're not retargeting them from a custom audience that you ran last week, right? It's like everything, you guys, it, this is basic stuff, dude. If you're not consistent, you're going to suck. Um, if you're not putting yourself out there, and that's my professional opinion, it's not exactly everyone's opinion, but it's my professional opinion. If you're not putting yourself out there, your face, your headshot, your image, you, then it's a little bit more challenging. It's a little bit more challenging. Therefore, you have to run more ads and for sure, stay consistent, okay? Because the magic is in the retargeting. The magic is in when you're, re the magic is, is when you're retargeting custom audiences, um, and when you're turning those custom audiences, when you have several hundred people who have landed in that audience is what I was saying earlier, let's call it 300 minimum, a few hundred, right. That have landed on that. Thank you page. That's when you can then turn it into a lookalike audience. And now you're only running Facebook ads, retargeting lookalike audiences. That's when you now take your custom audience and say, Hey, Facebook, here's an audience of 300 people. These people have met my freaking objective, which was a lead or a freaking purchase. This is what I'm telling Facebook. Now go turn it into a freaking lookalike. Go find me millions of more people that resemble these 300. That's a lookalike. So those of you that, 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 that see successful Facebook advertisers, those of you that hear about Facebook, successful Facebook advertisers, what they, what they're not telling you. And it's not the fact that they're not telling you because they're trying to hide it. No, it ain't nothing like that. It's just, it, it, it is what it is. It's just part of their targeting. What they're not telling you is the fact that they're targeting lookalike audiences because they've already been running Facebook ads for long enough where they've created their own custom audiences and then turned those custom audiences into lookalike audiences. Or they were smart from the very, very beginning. And they said, you know what? The hell with that. We ain't got that kind of time to run several months of Facebook ads just so we can create the custom audience. Forget that. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the source. We're going to get a customer list from the vendor. Or we're going to reach out to a lead broker and we're going to buy a list of homeowners. Or we're going to reach out to our title company and we're going to get a list of people who sold a home in the past five years in this zip code. 
Because then I could take that list of several thousand people that I can easily get my hands on, whether I, I get it from a title company, I buy it from a lead broker, I get it from a vendor, whatever. I can then take a list, not of 300, I could take a list of several thousand that, that, that a broker or, or excuse me, yeah, a lead broker or a title company or a freaking um, a vendor would have. I can then take that list, turn it into a custom audience and, cu custom audience, and then immediately make it look like make it a look like immediately make it a look alike audience so when i go run my first conversions ad i'm retargeting a look alike that right there is what most don't tell you so if they are seeing success out the gate it's because they're they're retargeting a look alike audience that they either bought or was given to them bottom line but again most of us and especially most of you that are watching this video are, are not there, but I'm telling you, to, I'm telling you how to get there. If you want to skyrocket your freaking Facebook ads right away, go get a, go get a list of people who meet your criteria, whether that's a lead, whether that's a sell, whether it's someone that bought a house, whatever, go get that list of several thousand, several thousand. Don't buy a list. Don't buy a list of 200 people. No, buy a list of like 2000 people, a vendor, a title company, a lead broker, go buy a list of a couple thousand people that, 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 that are not of your customers that, that resemble your customers. It, you can get this list anywhere, man, Google it. And then turn it into a look like right away, upload it as a custom audience, turn it into a look like audience right away. And that's how you can come out the gates freaking swinging and, and hitting home runs out the gate. But again, if you're not doing that, man, you have to stay consistent. You have to stay consistent um, because that's how you build the custom audience. And that's how you uh, eventually have a custom audience that you can turn into a look like and then target from there. Okay. That's why most people's Facebook ads suck because they ain't doing none of that shit. They ain't doing none of that. They ain't freaking doing none of that. They ain't consistent. They ain't got no custom audiences. They don't know what the hell a look like is. None of that shit, right? So if I just confuse the hell out of you guys with all that, you need to start learning, right? You need to start learning. So subscribe to the channel, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know you guys are with me. Let me know you're picking up what I'm freaking dropping over here, all right? So that hopefully that explains. And again, there, there's other reasons too, man. The text, the, the image, the video, it's generic. What, there's many reasons, but hopefully that made sense. And those, in my opinion, um, are, the, are the most important. Now, why would, it, why would Facebook disable an ad account? If you go to Facebook, you got to go to, um, and you can easily just Google this. You got to read this, man. You got to look at this Facebook um, ad policy. Okay, ad policies 2021. This will take you straight to advertising on Facebook. Um, let's see if if this one, well, this was an ad. So it might, if I just go to, if I go to, um, let's go to, actually, let's go to a different one. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a, there's a list of, of, of their policy, right? Um, let's go back real quick. Let me click on. Facebook advertising policies, this one right here. Okay, so this would just give me a breakdown, dude. If you're breaking any of these freaking rules, dude, like right here. So if you're breaking advertising policies right here, Facebook's advertising policies. If you're breaking any of these rules, then they're going to disable your account. If you're, this is it right here. So facebook.com forward slash policies. Go ahead and type that one in. Facebook.com forward slash policies. Understanding our policies, right? So here's the overview. And so the ad review process, um, the outcome of a review, and then um, 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 prohibited content, what to do if your ad is rejected. But what I would do is I just go to prohibited content. This stuff right here, dude, a lot of the times disabled ad accounts are for stupid reasons. Like the um, you, didn't, you didn't comply to the, pol to the political yes or no, or you didn't up up update your your um your your business info in your business settings. So as you go into your business settings, like this this is your fa business.facebook.com. That's what you want to set up for sure. business.facebook.com. You want you want to set up an actual business manager, okay? That's what you want to do. Is set up a business manager. Um once you set up a business manager, you're going to come in here and you're going to go to business info and you're going to fill in all that information. That's one reason why ad accounts get disabled because none of the information in there is accurate. Um, every business manager and ads manager is tied back to a personal person. Okay. It's all tied back to you. 
right? You got your business manager, but every business manager is tied back to the personal profile, just like your Facebook business page is tied back to the personal profile. So if you have a lame ass personal profile, and that's what I was touching on, that's what I was trying to get at by explaining the fact that there's no profile picture, the name seems sketchy, you know what I mean? But again, shout out, I don't know nothing about, about them, but that's the problem. I don't know nothing about them. Ain't no real picture, ain't no real name. That's the problem. So when you, when you try to do that, or when anybody tries to do that on Facebook, and let's say you set up a, a, a random personal profile, just so you can have access to set up a business page, just so you have access to run ads through an ad account, let's say you set up a bullshit personal profile. That's going to be another reason. That's going to be another reason why your account is flagged and, and, and could get disabled because they look, Facebook looks at it as, as, as you're a freaking scam, as you're freaking a scam. It's not a real person, right? It's it, it, even though it is, it's you, but, but the profile picture is super sketchy. The name isn't even your real name. Facebook looks at this, dude. They have all these data points, true story. Shout out to Didi. Shout out to Didi, my newest client who I just spoke to today. Funny, ironic how I'm making this video the same day. And, and I have a story about her. I was literally on a call with her an hour ago. Okay. So shout out to DD. You, you know who you are. You know, um, we just spoke an hour ago. I was speaking to this, to this client on onboarding her as, as, as a new client. And I was looking at her pages, right? Her personal profile page was a different name. It was her nickname, right? It was her nickname. And because of that, I truly believe it affected her business manager. She had is she she now has issues with her ad account in her business manager because none of the business info was 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 in there, right? So it looks like a sketchy account. The business info was all blank. The page, the business manager, it's tied back to a page that looks all sketchy. Now Pictures are so important. This profile picture has to be your real picture. This name has to be your real name. Okay. Um, this has to be your real name because if it's not, then Facebook's going to flag it. They're going to flag it. And I truly believe, believe that was one reason why her, her ad account got disabled. That could be one reason. I don't know hundred percent, but I, but I, I have a hunch where that could have been a reason. You have to comply with Facebook's advertising policies. You have to make sure all your information is, is accurate and, and updated inside the ads manager. And again, you'll find that in business info. You want to make sure that you have a domain. You click on brand safety. You go to domains. You want to make sure that you have a domain verified inside of here. So you want to make sure you have a, a verified domain. You want to make sure that your ad account is connected to a legitimate credit card, right? You want to make sure that that is, is, is accurate, your ad account. So if, if these things aren't updated, man, um, your shit's going to get, going to get, going to get disabled. And that's what's going on. If you're running ads, um, and the text is, is, is misleading. And again, you'll read this in the advertising policies. So facebook.com forward slash, po forward slash policies. But if you're running ads and you're misleading, right. Or it's, it, it's advertising a false claim, right. A health product happens a lot in, in affiliate marketing where affiliate marketers are advertising or, or running ads to health products, great products, right. So many great products. But the problem is, is that when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to um, discrimination of, of, of those, look, it's number three, discrim discrim discriminatory practices. Ads must not discriminate or encourage discrimination against people based on personal attributes such as race, race ethnicity, color, national origin, religion, age, sex, freaking blah, blah, blah. It's a thin line, dude. If you're running ads to products that 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 are around any of those keywords sex sexual orientation gender identity family status disability medical or genetic condition if you're running ads on nutritional products and now we got medical condition or we have um 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 misleading type of, 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 of verbiage that can now be somewhat used because I've been around it all. I've been around many network marketing companies, not affiliate marketing. I mean, yeah, affiliate marketing, but network MLM, right? Um, network marketing. I've been around many, many network marketing, amazing network marketing companies where they have amazing products, but you can't go and start making claims on the product. You can't start making claims on, on healing 
or 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 healing your disease, right? Or 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 you're gonna take this and you're gonna automatically lose this much weight, or put this on your face and you're gonna automatically look better. Like you can't make these types of claims. And a lot of affiliate marketers and even network marketers, but a lot of affiliate marketers tend to, to run ads like that. Very misleading. The image could, could be misleading. So therefore your ad gets rejected. And because you've done it a couple of times, now your ad account is freaking disabled and you can't get it back. So it's, it's these types of, of things. And that's why as long as you have all your updated information, as long as you got a real freaking legit profile. Um, and I told my client Didi, I'm like, dude, unless you have an ex-husband or freaking some boyfriend that is still freaking hawking you and still freaking, you know, um, um, what's the damn word I'm looking for? Freaking um, stalking you, not hawking, freaking stalking. It, it, unless you got some freaking random ass person stalking you, then put your real information, dude, especially if you're trying to build a business. Now this only applies. Let me, let me freaking say that part loud and clear. This only applies if you're trying to build a business. If you ain't trying to build shit, then none of the freaking cancel the video. Thank you for stopping by you. I'm so sorry you wasted this much time, but it's like, dude, those of us that are actually trying to build a brand, trying to build a business, trying to get freaking customers or help other businesses get customers. These are the basic strategies. These are the basic fundamentals. This is the basic common shit that you guys need to get familiar with, right? Just staying compliant with everything, having the right information on everything. Trust me, you're already getting tracked so many other ways, dude. No need to hide behind a freaking YouTube channel. Like there's no need. You're being tracked and, and, and our, our faces are being recorded in so many different ways, it's not even funny. Like my damn cell phone, I'm being tracked. We're all being tracked on our damn cell phones, right? All this stuff that's already already there. So it's like, shit, dude, you can't hide if you wanted to. You can't hide in today's world if you wanted to. So as long as you're freaking legit, as long as you're on the up and up, you don't got to worry about none of this. You don't got to worry about none of this. Your ads won't suck. Your freaking accounts won't get disabled. And you're building a legitimate business and bringing value to real people. That's what it's all about, man. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick, you guys. Um, look at the advertising policies, run legitimate ads and don't claim stuff that, that is hard to be claimed and, 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 and keep it simple, man, have fun with it, but you got to spend some money. You gotta, you gotta run ads. You gotta, you gotta build your custom audiences. You gotta retarget these people that are engaging in, in, in these custom audiences. When you can stay, stay focused and stay consistent with all that, um, your ads won't suck, bro. Your ads won't suck and your shit won't get disabled. It's as easy as that. So if you guys are new to the channel, man, I thank you so much for making it this far. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency um, and running Facebook ads for clients and even businesses of my of my own, right? And, and one business that I'm super fired up about, um, personal, um, that I'm going to be rolling out here in June of 2021. So I'm going to keep it still simple Facebook ads, landing pages on this, but I'm also going to be, 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 um, you know, sharing a part of my, my activity when it comes to Facebook ads, Instagram ads on my own products, right? I have videos where I'm touching on my digital products, but what I'm going to be going into now is solar, which is what this ad account was all about, inspired energy. Um, I'll put some links in the, in the description for that, but that's what I'm going to be running ads to is, is a high ticket type of, of, of product, which is solar. Um, and that'll be a local business. So you'll start to stay tuned for that, man. Cause you're going to, you're going to see me running a lot of different ads, um, getting appointments, getting leads and getting appointments, right? That's, that's for my personal business. Inspired energy is what I'm going to be rolling out here in June, 2020, 21 and on. Um, um, so stay tuned for that, man. Subscribe again, drop me a comment. Let me know you guys are, 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 are seeing what I'm saying or hearing what I'm saying and um, hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys on the next video over now.